10 days after his shocking death, Makueni Senator Mutula Kilonzo would begin his final journey at the Nairobi Baptist Church in Nairobi to his place of rest in Boni. <laughs> A family yet to get answers to the numerous questions regarding the circumstances that led to his death, choosing to celebrate a man whose eulogy tells the story of a man who was more than just a father and husband, but one who has been described as one of the greatest reformers, a patriot. I arrived in the compound, went up to his room, and there he was. lifeless. And perturbed, I still called out his name and I said, Dad, held his hand and it was cold. A family trying to make sense of it all. Uh, it's like the last few months he had been preparing himself for his departure. He had changed in such a different way. He was so much at peace. And he would tell me things that I would just, you know, go down to my prayer closet and say, God, help us. The requiem mass bringing together colleagues and friends that Kilonzo had made over the 64 years he was alive. My father made friends far and wide in his career as an advocate, farmer, businessman, environmentalist, politician, international statesman, and much more. For the family of seven children, all those titles were shed off when he was home with them. Their tribute of him telling the story of Mutula the dad and husband. I'll talk about him as my lover, my friend, the father of my children, a, a friend of many others. He abhorred disorganization and preferred strict routines, which he was famous for among family members, staff, and his close friends. Um, I want to read you a card that he sent to me on Valentine's Day. I never imagined loving someone enough to want to share every moment of every day with them for the rest of my life. I never believed in miracles until I met you. Happy Valentine. A man said to have a knife for detail, a stickler for time and order. He was opinionated, passionate about his views and steadfast, yet he gave one the freedom to make decisions and act. And he loved the color red. Those who have met him, or his suit, were lined in red. He would wear that suit sometimes and open it like this and ask me, you know, swinging from left to right, and ask me, how do I look? Do I look nice? But I'm not quite sure whether there is anything that can replace that man in our lives. Mutula, the politician, had in the March 4th election won the Senate seat for Makueni County. To his fellow politicians, though, he was more than just another politician. Mutula has been many things to many people. But one thing is that Mutula metamorphosed politically from a rightist to a left of center politician. It differed with me when, for instance, I undertook the famous or a certain famous shuttle diplomacy. He said, I disagree with my party leader, but that was Mutula for you. Never afraid to deal with issues that are going to give greater benefit to this country. Without fear of any contradiction, Mutula Kilonzo was an astute lawyer, a consummate politician, and a patriotic citizen. He stood tall in whatever he did. I would like you 
take up that same spirit and from you, get us one of you to take, take up these matters in, uh, well, let us not talk about politics now. <laughs> Investigations into his death are yet to reveal the exact cause of his death. The family dealing with speculation and rumors surrounding his demise. Let us allow those who are in charge with the responsibilities of carrying out investigations go to the root cause of this, uh, this uh, death. And so Thursday the 9th of May, family and friends will gather at his Mooni home, the final resting place for 64-year-old Mutula Kilonzo. Esther Kahumbi, Citizen Live at 9.